Dear Clementine, AKA Clem, AKA Russian ballet legend Clemarushka. Okay, AKA, oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. AKA my fat bottom girl. AKA my side eye with fur and legs. What you must think of my grooming. All of the time I spend pulling whiskers out of my face, knowing full well that I am already so unbalanced. I know you think it's dumb that I only sleep six to eight hours one time a day. <laughs> that there is any such thing that requires me to be anywhere other than where you can heavily drape yourself across my hip like a lover's arm or curl into the big spoon of my body like a dollop of marmalade. For the record, I think it's dumb too but someone's gotta pay the rent and you won't even put a resume together. <laughs> At the job I leave you to go to every day, there is a terrible man who says that he hates cats because your affection has to be earned, but he says this like it's a bad thing. He also thinks it's completely acceptable to whistle indoors though, so it's not like he has any credibility, credibility anyway. Speaking of whistling, I know it must be laughable the way I run away from birds rather than towards them and their dinner bell mouths, but I just don't fucking trust them. I know it must seem strange that I would ever come running the first or fifth or twelfth time someone calls my name. But some nights I wake up from a dead sleep feeling so alone and just need to know you're still around. And even when you're busy with the important task of stalking a moth on the living room wall, I appreciate that you do eventually come. I can't really bring myself to consider that there will ever be a day that you won't. My ego really likes the way that you hate basically everybody except me. There are days that I hate basically everybody except you. There are never days that I hate you though. Not even when you claw the furniture or when you wake me up on Saturday mornings to alert me that your food bowl isn't all the way full but only part of the way full and that this is totally unacceptable. I like the way you don't settle for less. My mom says that it's a sign that you are comfortable and happy when you lay on your back and show me your tummy. This is a language I understand. The last person I got comfortable enough to show, lay on my back and show my tummy to was a man that I love so much that I want to vomit in his absence the way you vomit when you think I've been gone for an unreasonable amount of time. <laughs> When I leave our apartment, do you know that I'm eventually coming back? Do you start out certain and then with each hour or day fear that I am gone for good? This man has been gone for an unreasonable amount of time. And if he is gone for good, then this relationship will have ended no differently than any of the other failed relationships you've witnessed over the last 10 years and that that makes me think about how long it took you to learn not to hunt and smush stink bugs. I think love might be my stink bugs. Or maybe I have too much smush in my paws. Either way, I've got no more prowl left in me to bring anyone home who doesn't wake up from a dead sleep just to make sure I'm still around. Or who doesn't want to earn my affection. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking you and me got to go full gray gardens. You, the big Edie to my little Edie. We will listen to opera records and eat ice cream in bed and keep everyone away with our eccentric behavior and dirty looks. It's you and me against the whole world, my Clementine. Oh, my darling, my side eye with fur and legs.